Hey, Composite Gloves here. This is the third video in the FM8 from the ground up tutorial series. And today I'm gonna cover MIDI control trolling and routing. Uh, if you're not into this, you may as well just skip this tutorial. But for those of you who are into it, FM8 has some unusual options when it comes to MIDI routing. Now, if you're using a DAW, the FM8 options for MIDI routing basically go out the window and it's up to your DAW, basically. But if you're not using your DAW, uh, then I'm gonna, well, first I'm gonna show you how it works in standalone. So boom, here's a standalone open version. And let's say you've got a MIDI controller hooked up with some knobs and you can see your assignments right here. I have a machine MK2 controller hooked up and it's got some knobs on there I can control things with. So to enable MIDI Learn, I go over here, click this little MIDI Learn icon, and let's say I want to move the detune. So I move the detune up, it gets highlighted, and then I move my knob, and whammo, and you see the controller is assigned right here. Unison detune to CC controller 14, which is what I have. And that is that. It is seriously that simple. There are some things I cannot control. For example, I can do dynamic and I'm moving my controller, but it's not working. There are some buttons you just simply can't control. Um, and there are other buttons that you can. As you can see, you can control the mono. Dynamic is off limits. They just, I guess they didn't feel like that one was worth it. You can control these guys. Move one of these up and down. And waymo. It's seriously that simple. Then you have to unclick it. And that way your controls stay consistent and you're good to go you can control things with the thusly assigned controllers. Now, if you go into options, you have these guys. Use op A controllers for all selected, for selected operator channel. So check this out. So we have it on and let's go to our operators. So let's say I wanna assign the ratio to, op, to an operator. So let's do that. Click on the ratio, move it around, boom, connected and you see the ratio changing. Now when I go to operator B, it still works, and operator C, it works. But if I go to options, turn that off, click OK, no longer works for C, no longer works for B, but it still works for A. So you have that option, and it applies for all the controls on here that you can control with the MIDI controller. There's another option, saying, uh, don't worry about this one, Unless you, I'm not going to cover the multi MIDI setup. This last one is a uh, use three CCs. You can control a ratio with three different uh, continuous controllers signals, um, which would be the knobs on three separate controllers. Should you desire, you could turn that on and that option would become available if you're using multiple MIDI controllers. So that's the basis of routing MIDI in FM8. Um, I have not come up with a way to control multiple parameters with one knob in FM8 standalone. So unfortunately, that just doesn't exist. But if you're in a DAW, like I am currently, you can do some interesting things. So none of these options mean anything anymore to FL Studios, as far as I have learned. So in order to do it in FL Studios, you move your knob around. Then you click the multi-linked controller option and then you move your knob around again. You'll see it has done that. Then you move the knob you want to control it and boom, you can now control it. Another alternative option, you could go to browse parameters, unison detune pops up because that's the last one you touched. And you could do the same scenario and move it. Uh, move the thing you want to control that with. and it will thusly become active. Link to controller, remove your controller, and then it works. You have to click link to controller. So uh, that's the gist of it. Now in FL Studios, you can open up a MIDI out option and you can link the controllers to these guys. So you can click this, you click this, then move this knob. Actually, you don't even know to go through this. You could link controllers to here and then control it all through that knob there. I already have one of them set up. So it's controlling that knob and then you could link things to that knob. But I just realized 
I'm getting too complicated. There's an easier way. You click, this is a multi-link. So you could click here. I would say, okay, then you move your knob, you're good to go. Now you say, I want to control this too. Click here, move your knob. Now you control them both. Uh, as far as ratio goes, you cannot control the separate ratios, unfortunately. There is one more option in standalone that uh, might apply to you. Send controllers when change CC MIDI channel. This basically says if you have a readout, like I have a readout on my MK2 controller that tells me what the value is, it will send like a number, a number a digital readout of what you're exactly at if you have this on. So that's a useful option. That's pretty much MIDI routing in FM8. If you have Ableton or Pro Tools or something else that you're using these plugins in, uh, you're going to have to go through whatever options they have set up to use those. And FO Studio 11, if you're still using that, um, the option, this, this was very complicated. So you would have to, you'd have to do it the way I showed you before, which is you click the knob you want to move. First, you go to Browse Parameters, click the knob you want to move, make sure your Unison's attached, click Link to, I mean, your Multi-Link to Controller, then you click Link to Controller. And then uh, right here also, this is important. Uh, there's this removes conflicts. If you are already attached to something, then multi-linking two controllers to it won't work if this is on. So you may have to go here to turn this off. Um, that way you can control multiple things because this is going to remove my previous control and put it on the control that I want. So it will only control the one thing. And then I move my controller. And I don't need to click accept. It just does it automatically. But as you see now, my pan knob doesn't move. But if I do that again, browse parameters. Uh, don't forget to turn your link to controller on. Go to link to controller. Remove conflicts is off. You move it. Now it works. And you can reclaim this other knob. So that is MIDI routing. Subscribe if you enjoy these tutorials. Drop a comment if you have a question. Um, I do my best to answer it or other people will help you out and get this video to someone who enjoys these videos. Have a blessed day.